Italian architect Renzo Piano has a vision for the new California Academy of Sciences. While he works on the design from home, local architect Kong Kian must turn Piano's dreams into reality. It's a daunting task. Many wonder, is it even possible? I realize that I'm going to need a lot of help. Yes, it's going to be challenging. It's going to be fun, but it's going to be challenging. Renzo Piano originally wanted the piazza roof to sweep all the way down to the ground. With the roof coming down to the piazza, we have, we have several challenges. What happens with, with rainwater coming into the piazza? If it doesn't drain, we're going to have another aquarium in the middle. We're gonna, we'll have a pond in the middle of the piazza. This corner here. Changes have to be made. And Kian predicts more problems will arise once construction begins. We made a template. And you also have to have the rainforest and the planetarium be completed before the roof goes on, because you can't get to it in the future. After many months, the design for the new California Academy of Sciences is finally finished. Its creation will require a diverse team of architects, engineers, builders, and scientists, separated by thousands of miles, to work together, hand in hand. Collectively, they must find a way to build the impossible. A megastructure made of glass, sitting in a seismic strike zone. Out of the dust, a new museum begins to rise. One that is truly green, despite its appearance. The concrete is partly recycled fly ash, a byproduct of coal-fired power plants. Even the insulation in the walls is recycled from shredded denim. We are in San Francisco, the city of blue jeans, so we use the, the blue jeans denim to make the thermal insulation. 100% of the steel in the building is recycled. Construction proceeds rapidly. There's only a couple of months before the winter rains come, and everything must be under cover. As Kian predicted, Renzo Piano's design poses a sequencing problem for the team. When you got plants on top of steel, on top of planetarium, on top of water, on top of structure, on top of foundation, it's a unique, one of a kind. It isn't one where you could say, oh, I built one of those you know, a year ago, or two years ago, or five years ago. Here's how you do it. This is one that hadn't been built before. It's more than two years since the builders broke ground, with crews sometimes exceeding 500 people a day. At last, the basic structure of this Noah's Ark is complete. Now, they need to see if it works. Viewed from the air, the mysterious roof of green seems to rise above the park like magic. From the first day was really the idea to make the roof like a flying carpet, like, like a piece of the park flying. Home to 20 million specimens and thousands of living animals, it's a 21st century Noah's Ark made of glass. It's an architectural marvel like no other on the planet. <laughs>